yes you're welcome now in this video today we are going to look at how you can start a school here in uganda there are so many people out there who are looking to invest in schools in uganda but they don't know how so today we are going to look at the procedure of how to start a primary and a secondary school here in uganda the, the procedures you need to go through the requirement and the total cost basically we are going to cover all of them here in this video so basically we are going to look at how to start a school here in uganda we are going to start from the procedure first you need to apply and get a license forms from the ministry of education and sports or the district get recommendation from lc1 and lc3 then show proof of ownership of land then valid agreement of period of five years for secondary schools and eight years for primary school in case of hired building so if you don't show ownership of land in case you are to hire a building you need to show an agreement that you've been accepted to hire that building for a period of five years for secondary schools and eight years for primary school there must be enough land for expansion playground and physical education but that is specific for schools where there's room for expansion but urban schools are considered special case because usually in an urban place there's not enough area for expansion so urban schools need to show proof of recreation ground out of school which the school is permitted so in the case of recreation like playground they need to rent somewhere else or show an agreement that they have been given a go ahead to use a certain pitch or an area for recreation you must have a development plan and proof of viability of funds for development yes that also has to be in plan the number of staff going to operate the school and the qualifications primary schools should have a minimum of seven teachers and secondary schools 12 yeah, for primary 7 and secondary schools, between 7 to 12 teachers, at least somewhere there. Then after you having all the above, with the above in place, the intending proprietor or owner writes to the permanent secretary, minister of education and sports, stating their intentions and seeking for guidance. So after putting all that into place, you need to write uh, to the permanent secretary your intentions of starting a school and what you put in place so that they can arrange for inspection for you so basically what you do you fill in application form and must be approved by director of education standards here and they have to be in triplicate forms they have to be in three forms you have basically to write three forms. The district inspector of school then comes and inspects the school. If everything is fine, endorsement of application is done and sent to the Ministry of Education and Sports. So all the, the inspection of schools has to start at the district level. So the district is the one which comes and inspects the school. Itself, if everything is okay, your application is sent to the Ministry of Education and sports after the file is opened up at the ministry the ministry of education retains one file another one is retained by the district education officer then you also retain a copy of that file that is the reason why they have to be in duplicate forms in that each office retains one file ministry retains the district retains and also retain a copy and if all minimum requirements are provided, a provisional license is given to you to start the school. So basically there are always two licenses. A provisional one is first given to you, then later if everything is okay, after a period of one year, if everything which was missing was put in place, they give you an operational license. That one is the one which is next. So within one year, the school owner is supposed to put in place all missing requirements and report back to the Ministry of Education to get an operational license. So without inspection report from the Director of Education Standards, the license to operate isn't given to you. So basically, those are the procedures you have to go through if you have to start a primary or a secondary school here in Uganda. So basically, the next thing we are going to look at the specifics which are required 
in primary and those which are required in a secondary school. So let's start with the requirements of opening up a secondary school. A copy of a document showing a trained and graduate head teacher. So a head teacher has to be trained and a graduate, the one who's going to manage the school to become like a headmaster or a principal of the school. So the head teacher has to be generally a graduate. A copy of document showing all teachers are registered and licensed by the Ministry of Education and Sports. Basically, you need to show proof that all your teachers generally are licensed to practice as teachers here in the country. Then another thing must have a minimum of seven teachers full time and three must be for science and mathematics. So basically for secondary school at least it must have seven. Although seven might not be enough, sometimes they might require 12, but at least for a minimum for a start you must have seven teachers and among the seven, three of them must be science teachers. So you need to show proof of one staff house. That one is also another requirement. Proof of at least 10 acres of land. But for urban areas are given special consideration. But classroom size should be 5.8 meters by 7.8 meters. So that is the classroom size. But as you know, when it comes to urban areas, because there is little space for expansion, there is a small consideration for them. But when it comes to classroom size, the sizes have to be the same throughout the whole country. So another thing is a minimum enrollment of 45 students per teacher. This excludes international schools and not more than 60 per class. So that is a requirement. So each teacher has to cater for at least 45 students in a class not exceeding more than 60. Another thing when it comes to secondary school is you need to show proof of science room or a laboratory. You need to show proof of a library, toilet facilities, proper security arrangements, proof of operational board of governors, for classroom block, classrooms with furniture and administration block. There are so many others but these are the specifics when it comes to opening a secondary school here in Uganda. So now let's move to the primary school. The primary school, their qualifications are not so different but let's go through them. A qualified head teacher graduate with a degree in primary education. So in primary education, the head teacher and the deputy, both of them need to have a bachelor's degree in primary education. You need to show a list of teachers licensed by the Ministry of Education and Sports. Documents showing administrative and financial records. Basically, when it comes to teachers, also primary school, at least they need to have seven teachers. And you need to show proof that they are licensed by the Ministry of Education and Sports. A school bank account is necessary for a primary school. You need to show a school bank account, a minimum of one staff house. You see that staff houses are quite very important when it comes to uh, education, basically, both in primary and secondary school. So you need to show at least one staff house, then at least five acres of land with secure environment. But this applies to rural areas but urban areas are given a special consideration but the classroom size should be 5.8 meters by 8.8 so that is the classroom size proper security is important an enrollment of not more than 40 pupils for primary for you to be given a license and appropriate seating facilities for learners toilet or pit latrines Provision of safe drinking water, fight aid kits, and also functional school management committee. So when it comes to setting up a primary school, those are the specifics. Now let's go and look at the total cost of setting up a school here in Uganda. So we are going to look at the cost of starting a school here in Uganda. Now this cost will be minus buying land. We are going to assume you already have land for the school. So we are going to start with the building costs. This will include uh, classroom blocks, teachers houses, administration block, dormitory stroke hostels. This can take you roughly around 350 million Ugandan shillings. It can be slightly low on a tight budget, 
or slightly high depending on your money but averagely 350 million Ugandan shillings for all these blocks which are very necessary then we have a science room no apparatus uh, that's 30, 30 million basically for secondary school you will need a, a science room if you are going to set up a primary one you may not need it then library will cost you around 50 million library is important for all sections whether it's secondary or primary computer lab 20 million you can do with the computer lab or not but right now as the development is going on and this pandemic period people are doing zoom all that stuff uh, people are doing go go and everything is on internet it's good that each school should have at least a computer lab so basically rap can take you 20 million getting desktops nowadays are not so expensive you can get them at a million uh, an average old ones if you are not going for the very new ones then furniture for the whole school uh, can take you roughly 10 million then school vehicle or a van now this one is very important gone are the days where a school can open without a van but nowadays a school van is a very important a mini one can take you around 70 million depending on the mode some can go up up to 200 but a mini one or an old version can take you around 70 million then sports field for development plus equipment a sports field nowadays is very important on each school yes unless the urban school but even urban schools have to rent out a place where students are going to play so uh, roughly that one can take you 20 million if you have land to develop it plus the necessary equipment roughly let's calculate it it can take you 20 million then staffing costs staffing uh, you you will need teachers cooks security metrons we are roughly going to budget that for 20 million on a tight budget uh, then other costs, stationary inspection costs are miscellaneous, we shall calculate it to take roughly 20 million. So uh, basically our budget cost to 590 million Ugandan shillings. It can range from 590 to a billion shillings, depending on the type of school you want, the location, and uh, what you put in your school. So averagely, that's the cost if you want to start a school here in Uganda. Tell me down there in the comment section if there's anything you want to add on, on this story which I've left out. Any suggestion, any comment, don't hesitate to make it right there in the comment section.